And hi, welcome back to YouTube channel of Wondershare Dr. Phone. We have seen many people changing their Android phones all the way over to iPhone. Moreover, platforms like WhatsApp is going to be our basic source of communication. So when people change their devices, they may have difficulties in transferring WhatsApp from Android to iPhone or transferring WhatsApp from iPhone to Android. So were you just another victim of this problematic transfer from Android to iPhone? Well, don't worry. As in this video, I'm going to work on two particular methods that can be applied to getting 100% positive results in transferring WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. So please make sure to go through every detail and follow all of these steps very carefully. And before we figure out all of these, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for getting the latest information about our channel. And buckle up because we're going to move on to the very first method. So part one, is there an official method to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone? To be clear on any kind of confusion among our viewers, WhatsApp has not officially announced a direct transfer method from Android to iPhone. For now, we only have a method to transferring WhatsApp content from iPhone to Android. As this method is only supported across Samsung devices, we hope that you own a Samsung device or you are looking forward to owning one as you look into the process. So before starting, do make sure that you have your Android device in a brand new form from a USB-C lightning cable ready to make the process work. So step one is going to be to start with the process. So connect your Android to your iPhone with your cable, and then this cable should be plugged in at times during the process, at all times. And then you're going to observe a pop-up across your iPhone screen of trusting your computer. Tap on trust and then start setting up your Android device from the start. Go through all of the different steps and then connect it with a stable Wi-Fi network. And then once you get the screen where the Android device inquires about transferring the data, do make sure that you select the option of transferring data from an existing device. Step number three is going to be to download the latest version of Smart Switch on your Android device, since it's Samsung, and launch it. Now select the option to transfer from iPhone or iPad, followed by the option of transferring WhatsApp chats from your iPhone. Smart Switch will return you with a QR code to scan. Scan this code with your iPhone. And then go ahead and open up WhatsApp on your iPhone and lead into its settings. Open your chat settings and select the option of move chats to Android that you'd find on the very next screen. Your iPhone prepares all of that data and asks to continue across the other device. So move to the new Android device where you will find the different data options that are going to be transferred through the iPhone. And then select the appropriate options and finally click on install. As the data is being transferred across your Android device, Smart Switch will just automatically redirect you to install WhatsApp on your device. And you can even choose other applications to install presents across your iPhone. And the complete process takes up time depending on the quantity of the transferred data. And once you've finally gone ahead and completed the setup, log into WhatsApp on your Android device with your credentials and log in into WhatsApp and then it's going to show you the option of transferring chat history that has been transferred from iPhone. Click on start and then you'll see all of your WhatsApp data across Android transferred successfully. Part two is going to be about how to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone with Dr. Phone using WhatsApp transfer. And as you can see, the official method is still quite limited across your devices. So what if you're looking for methods to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone? Well, don't worry, as we will introduce you to the second method, Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer, which can handle your WhatsApp transfers with a zero effort. With such an effortless system, everything is covered seamlessly. From keeping your backups of your WhatsApp history to transferring WhatsApp business chats, it is going to be a complete package designed especially for you. And to understand how you can transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone with Dr. Phone, you need to follow these steps shown as follow. So open up Dr. Phone after successfully downloading it and select WhatsApp transfer across the list. Since you wish to transfer WhatsApp content, just select transfer WhatsApp messages on the next screen. Step number two is going to be to connect your Android and iPhone devices to your main computer where this process is going to be executed. Make sure that you have set the source and destination appropriately and then click on transfer after setting up the devices. So Dr. Phone keeps things automatic and executes this complete process without breaking a sweat. You just have to wait for the completion message before you can disconnect 
connect the devices and view all of the transfer data. So WhatsApp transfer FAQs, WhatsApp transfer can be quite challenging for users at various stages. They usually come up with questions that need an answer. And before we include our video, there are going to be a few common questions that we would like to answer as we move forward. So number one, is Dr. Phone only based on WhatsApp transfers? No, Dr. Phone is an exceptional tool that offers its users an extreme variety of features. Not only can users transfer WhatsApp data, but they can also recover previous data, use it as a phone manager or recover passwords for your devices. It is a complete tool that does not leave behind anything for smartphone users. Question number two, is this tool secure and safe? Absolutely. We provide processes that do not compromise the security and safety of our viewers. No data is kept, modified, or leaked during the automatic process. All data is kept personal and none of it is used for other purposes. And then lastly, how long does it actually take for the complete transfer? This completely depends on the quantity of data that you have to transfer. This can potentially range between a few minutes to hours, which is just something that's inevitable at this point. And that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching and following us all the way through the end of this issue. So if you have any kind of inquiries or suggestions, comment down below and leave a like if our error solutions have helped you in any way. So do be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. And until next time, enjoy.